Before we get started, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a dab, just because I, uh, I feel like it. But uh, welcome to my second story. Give me one second, guys. <coughs> oh, that's some, that's some pretty strong shit. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so <coughs> today we're gonna talk about the time Keith um, almost died to uh, the hands of cows on the way to get some LSD. So, story starts. It's my uh, it's my buddy Kason and my uh, other buddy Logan and my cousin Christian. Um, we were trying to make money to get LSD at the time, and I remember Kaysen pulling out a bunch of, uh, Xbox games, and he talked about selling them, and we were in pretty much in the middle of bumfuck Egypt, we were in the middle of nowhere, it was nothing but fields and empty roads, so I asked him, you know, where's the nearest, where's the nearest GameStop, and he's like, oh, not too far from here. So, you know, we get up, we go out, we walk, and um, we're walking down empty ass road, you know, some cars pass by, and we're just, we're just being dumbasses, fucking around, playing chicken, um, talking about, you know, other things and whatnot, and then that's when uh, our buddy Kaysen had said we had to walk through this field, so we go through this field, no biggie. There's an empty field. It's just an empty uh, empty cornfield. So we go through the cornfield just fine. And then we get met with a uh, a person's farm. It was it was their back. It was like their backyard. There was there was gates and everything. And there was their backyard. So we walked through there, you know. Um I was pretty stoned, so I thought they were going to come out and say some shit or even shoot us cuz fuck, I I didn't know where I was, you know. Anything's possible. So we, we go, we, we climb this fence of this backyard and we pass through this area and then we get down to a dirt alley and we go down through the alley and we notice that the only way we can get across is if we get across this fucking field with cows. There was cows in the field. So I'm like, you got me fucked up. We're not walking through that field. We're not fucking doing it. Like, those things are faster than us. They'll catch up to us and kill us. There's baby calves there. Fuck that. I'm good. You guys can go do that yourself. So, eventually, after them convincing me, we end up fucking going through. And I remember we were walking, and I seen one of the cows get ready to start running. And I fucking... We booked it. We booked it through that bitch. I don't even know if they noticed the cow was chasing us. But I, I noticed it. I noticed the cow coming towards us, so I fucking booked it, and they they were running it as is, so I, me being my lazy ass, I started picking up my fucking feet after I seen the cow, so I book it, I book it through the field, we get to the field, we climb a fence, and then we, we finally end up in a parking lot, and it's fucking, it's hot outside, and, and, and Kaysen's just walking, he's just walking with, with a box of, of games, and, and we look, we just look like a bunch of fucking hobos looking to, to get some spare change, it, it <laughs> so, we're walking through these parking lots, and we finally, we finally come across gas, or, uh, gas station, we finally come across GameStop, we go in GameStop, and we, th- this female was there, it was a female working, and he, we, you know, went through it, exchanged games, whatnot. I thought I thought we risked our lives for maybe like four fucking bucks. Um but after she looked through all the games, we ended up coming out with some big chump change. We came out with like 60, 70 bucks. So I was pretty I was pretty hyped for that. It was pretty cool. I was glad we got 60, 70 and not fucking four dollars or fucking store credit. You cut what what the fuck are you gonna do with store credit? Um So we get through all that and we have to run through the field again. The way to go back, we have to run through the field again. So we run through the field. I don't even know if the cows chase us. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't turn around. I didn't fucking look back. We just ran through the field. We ran through the field after we got the cash. 
Um, I called up another homie, come pick us up. And we spent maybe an hour fucking looking for people who had LSD. And we finally found, find a guy. Um, he ended up having uh, a lot of LSD. Um, so we end up driving there. We drive across town. We go from buttfuck Egypt all the way down to um, the west side where I uh, was posted at. We ended up going down to the west side. We went down to Hamilton Boulevard. And we ended up stopping in an alleyway. And we did this fucking sketchy-ass transaction. Don't know what. But we ended up getting a, a good decent amount of LSD. It was four heads. So we we came in looking like bosses. And we came out looking like bosses. We fucking risked our lives for fucking LSD. Going through a cow field. Got big chump change. And uh, we ended up getting the LSD. We go back, and I remember um, I took I took two two tabs. They were paper. They were just regular paper tabs, but the guy was like saying, "Oh, they're triple dipped. They're triple dipped." And at the time, I wasn't really familiar with it. I mean, I did ask it, but I didn't know like what triple, double, and all that shit meant. So we we get to the crib. We wait a couple hours before we start taking the acid, and I eventually get impatient and I drop I drop two tabs. And I was working on a song with my cousin, Christian. Uh, I was working on a song. And I remember I was... It was a it was a remaster of a song that, like, I never finished. And I remember as I was trying to re-record now that, I, now that we had an actual decent recording mic, I remember while I was mixing the beat, I remember it exactly hitting me. Like, it had hit me. Everything was everything became more colorful more vivid it was time of my life time of my life um so i get up out the desk um and we're chilling in a basement we have this big ass man cave looking basement and it's pretty cool we got we had a whole setup and shit down there couch beds everything it's pretty lit so i get up and i go to a wall and i feel like i'm not getting anywhere I dead ass. I feel like I'm just walking in place. So eventually, um, I go upstairs uh, and head outside. And it was maybe fuck. I want to say. I, I want to say it was like eight o'clock. It all started at like maybe five thirty six, and at that time it was maybe like eight thirty nine thirty at night. It was pretty dark out, and I remember. It was, it was, it was cloud, like there was no clouds out. And I remember I, I pointed, I, I called one of my homies up cause I was geeking out. I didn't know what to do. I was geeking the fuck out. So I called my homie and I'm like, dude, do you, have you seen the clouds tonight? They're so fucking beautiful. And he goes, this is why I know you're tripping. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <coughs> and bro goes, there's no clouds out tonight. So I'm fucking geeked out of my fucking mind. Freaking out. And, um, uh, I just kind of sat outside. Uh, I ended up going into the garage and just kind of laid there. And my cousin Christian had came in and we just kind of sat there. And I remember we spent 35 fucking minutes. This is no joke too. 35 fucking minutes of our, of our lives giggling and laughing at nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was probably one of my most, uh, craziest I wouldn't say craziest, but it's definitely like one of my top 10 craziest stories. Um, but again, uh, hope you guys did enjoy this story. I want to give a shout out to Kaysen and Logan. Logan and Kaysen uh, brought the story to my attention. I, f- I completely forgot about it. This is in the back of my head. But yeah, shout out, shout out to y'all for uh, reminding me about that story. It's pretty, pretty crazy ass story. If y'all like this video, go ahead, leave a like. Give me a comment. Let me know how I did. I mean, honestly, with my thumbnails and whatnot, I feel like I'm doing shit. But, hey. And also, shout out to Eric for my thumbnails. I appreciate that. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. If y'all have been subscribed or haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. But, uh, yeah, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. And that was, uh, that was the story for today. Take care.